ready to fight? Ready. All right, well, if we had hair, we would dye it blonde as an ode to Charles Oliveira. Tonight, he draws Dustin Poirier, and we shall see if Dustin can pull off the upset tonight and get past a guy who has just run roughshod through this lightweight division. Has Dustin Poirier made the adjustments to allow for him to go longer against Charles Oliveira? Early in the fight, the stand-up, the power is very evident on the side of Dustin Poirier. But it's the mindset of Charles Oliveira. They couple that with all the great skills, and he is a very difficult out for anyone. In fight one, Oliveira weathered the storm. Can Poirier take his foot off the gas a little bit and go longer in the fight in order to get the victory? Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. Ground and pound, big weapon for him here tonight. There's the elbow from the top by Oliveira. Nice job to reverse position there on the ground, and now we'll see what he can do with the dominant position. Beautiful transition. Nice transition into full guard here. We'll see what he chooses to do now. He's gonna be trying to pass to half, or eventually get the full guard, full mount, sorry. Pretty good elbow there from the bottom as he continues to stay active off of his back. Oh, some big elbows landing for him now. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Nice elbows, yeah. Look at him. He's setting up the choke now. Look at that. He's setting it up. Yep, that guillotine's deep. Now he's in trouble. He's gonna go to sleep. He needs to work out of his position. Ooh! Sorry to cut you off, but he got out. What a great job attacking the lock. Rolling to your back, giving up the mount. He chose a much worse position over giving up that submission. Nice shots landing from the top position. Poirier getting worked from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to add a straight land? Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that spin. Final seconds of round one. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit. All right, DC, round two is upon us. Dustin Poirier versus Charles Oliveira. Right hand there from the King of Lafayette, Louisiana, Dustin Poirier. Mike Brown there in the corner has really honed Dustin's all-around game, and he certainly finds himself in the middle of his fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. Nice jab by Poirier. Well, block that punch. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse. And he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up. Lands the ground and pound strike. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack drivers. Poirier getting worked to the body now by that elbow. So nice job changing levels with the striking there. Good, solid strike on the ground. He's very accurate in the ground and pound, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call
call it to go and end the fight. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away and blocking and rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. Let's go. We got a scramble here. Oh, big elbows from Oliveira. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Looks like he is going for a hip toss here. Yes, he is, and with amplitude, able to take him down. He got it. You know it. You know that it's coming, but he got it. He does a great job of disguising this technique. He is a fantastic judo player, and he did a great job of getting to his position. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But there's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Hammer fist here by Oliveira. He's putting him in exactly the position. Yeah, he's trying to get to the Dars here. Oh, Dars choke locked and loaded. Dars choke locked in. It's only a matter of time, but he cannot rush. He's got to control his opponent so that he can. Huh. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Pretty good jab there by Dustin Poirier. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage. on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Lands a nice one, too. Oh, nice double Oh, nice double. There's the classic ground and pound elbow to the head. Win the scramble! Win the scramble! Oliveira's looking for a Darce joke here. Oh, that's very deep now. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the side. Well, he's on his back now going for the rear naked choke. We'll see if he can get under the chin. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. tonight by way of submission and he bided his time there he stayed patient waited for an opening and then when it was there he certainly capitalized did that and he should be Thank you.